Welcome to this answer explanation video for tenths as decimals. This video will talk through the answers to the tenths as decimal worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Question one, match the image to the correct decimal, then we have four images, three options for our decimals, and we have to write the decimal and the fraction which matches the odd one out. So the way I'm going to do this is have a look at each of the images, write down the decimal that they represent, and then I can see which of my options match up with which. So we'll start with A. I have 100 square. I know that in 100 square, one entire bar, so one entire row shaded represents one tenth. And I can see on my 100 square, I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. That means it represents six tenths, which I can write as 0 0.6. B. This time we have a shape that's been split, split into 10 equal pieces and we have four shaded. So that means it represents four tenths, which is 0 0.4. C looks like some kind of tens frame. So we can have a look, there's 10 parts and we have seven counters that say 0 0.1. So that's seven tenths, that's 0 0.7. And then D, we have a bar this time that's split into 10 equal parts and three are shaded and that's 0 0.3. We can now look at our options to see which have matched up and then which one is the odd one out. So option one was 0 0.6 and that matched up with A. So I'm just going to write a one here to know that I've matched my number one with A. Uh, number two was 0 0.3. That was D, so I'm going to write two there. So D goes with two. And then we had number three, which was 0 0.4. That matched with B. So I'll write my three there. And now I know that C is the odd one out. 0 0.7 is the odd one out. I need to write the decimal, which I've done, and the fraction, which matches the odd one out. So 0 0.7, this column here, are my tenths. So the fraction would be seven tenths. Question two, complete the missing values in the table. Use the information from the table to correctly color the image on the right. So we're focusing on completing the table first, then we're going to look at the image. We have written in words nine tenths. So we need to write down the fraction, which is equivalent to the words nine tenths. So we can show that by having nine tenths. For the decimal, we know that our tenths column, we have ones, we have a decimal point, and then we have the tenths column, we have nine of them. So it's 0 0.9. Our shape is a square that's been split into 10 equal parts. We need to shade nine of them to show that we have nine tenths. So it doesn't matter if you go from the bottom or the top. So I'm just going to quickly shade these in, leaving one of them blank at the bottom. very roughly shaded in, but we can see I've shaded in nine out of 10 parts. Question three, John is thinking of a decimal between one tenth and six tenths. Megan says, I think John's decimal is 0 0.7. Is Megan correct? What decimals could John be thinking of? And then we have a number line, which starts with zero, goes up to one whole, and in the middle we have five tenths. So our number line is actually written in fractions at the moment. Because five tenths is there, I know that each marker represents an extra tenth. So John is thinking of a decimal between one tenth and six tenths. I think my first job is going to be to label one tenth and six tenths on my number line. So one tenth would go here because each marker represents one extra tenth and six tenths would go here. So I now know that the decimals lie on these values in between, but it's a decimal. We have fractions here. We now need to convert each of these fractions into a decimal so we can check what values they'd be. If I have one tenth, thinking again about my place value, ones column, decimal point, tenths. I have one tenth, so that's 0 0.1. And I'm just going to label all the way up. So 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6.
Let's check the question again. So Johnny's thinking of a decimal between one tenth and six tenths. That means it's not including. So we're looking at these values in the middle here. So we have 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. Megan has said, I think John's decimal is 0 0.7. Now that we've worked this out, Megan cannot be correct because the decimals John could be thinking of are 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. That was a video explaining the answers to the tenths as decimal worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk and for a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching.